Hi guys! This is video number three in our Reborn tutorial. We have our beautiful Cheyenne here and today Cheyenne is going to get an eye surgery and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So we've got our eyes and our sharp exacto knife. We've got our gloves on. I think we're ready. Now the process of putting eyes into the eye sockets in the vinyl doll is not an easy one but once you get the concept and practice a few times I think it gets easier. Now what's going to be hard is to film the whole process so I'll try to do my best here. Let's see. If you look inside of the doll's head right there these are the eye sockets and they're both closed off right now so we have to open them up but you don't want to open them all the way um, like cut out a hole all the way inside there you just want to make a little opening like a door and I'll show you on a piece of paper what I mean by that. So this is your eye socket. One and another one. And from the side view this is what it looks like inside. This is the head and then there's a little pouch like this. Right? And what we're going to do is start cutting around here all the way down like this and up again kind of like a U shape um, only halfway through and sometimes even smaller depending on the eye size and we'll do the same thing here you'll start cutting with your exacto knife here and go down and stop around here so on this side as you can see what I'm trying to say we're going to cut it open something like this. We're gonna start here, go all the way here on the other side and stop there. So that, I'll draw this again, so that it makes like a little door where you can stick the eye in. This is an eye. Right? So hopefully that helps you so we only cut from here to here. The other part is going to be connected so that when you insert the eye, this door will basically close off and keep the eye inside of the socket. On my first reborn, I made a mistake of cutting all the way out where basically it left a gaping hole. And every time I would put the eyes in, they always wanted to go back and come out so it was very difficult to glue so please don't do that to your doll and to yourself and spare you lots of trouble another thing is exacto knives are very very sharp and they should be sharp when you're doing this if it's not cutting very easily inside the vinyl like basically like a knife on the butter um, then you need to switch to a new blade at this point but be very careful because these knives are so easily to get hurt on which I have done a few times and I don't want you to get hurt while you're making your own reborn so be very careful so I will try to attempt to do this on camera and we'll see how well I can do this I'm gonna start on the bottom because that's where I can start uh -oh. and you have to be very very careful to not to not cut any part of the vinyl on the outside of the face only on the inside okay this is always very nerve-wracking do you see this part so far that we cut out Okay, so you basically keep cutting just a little more on this side and turn your knife over gently and just a little bit on this side and it's better to cut less than more and I'm going to stick the other side of the knife into the eye just, just to show you what it looks like on the inside. You see that? That is a little door that we created for the eye to come in. I think it needs to be cut just a little bit more on this side and then we'll be able to put the eyes in. Okay, I think I did one eye 
and I'm going to try to insert one of the eyes now but I just wanted to remind you when you cut inside of that eye only use the tip of your knife do not insert it all the way because it's so easy to cut vinyl with this knife and you do not want to ruin your doll before you even start it okay let's take a look let's open these up these look beautiful so what you do here is you put uh, one of the eyes on your finger on your index finger like this and then without trying to drop it inside of the doll's head sometimes you have to kind of help yourself with the other finger like this you go in and then you kind of squish the head where um, the eye socket opens up sometimes you can even put your thumb inside there and kind of feel it it's a little bit of a struggle every time but we'll get it there ah, what do I see I think we're almost there guys <gasps> look at that there's her very first eye she's so precious okay so we've got one eye we're halfway through the surgery so I think we better go and do the same process on the other eye and after we're done I'll come back and show you what she looks like with her both eyes in there we go you kind of push it in like that and you can position it um, different ways where she could look sideways but I like the straight look well guys I think this surgery was a success and our baby Cheyenne now got her eyes in and we can definitely see what she will start to look like very soon in the next video we'll have to remove her eyes again because we're going to start painting her and I'll show you what is the very first layer that you have to put on your doll and I'll show you how to use uh, my new wave oven and we'll bake her very first layer in. If this video was helpful to you, then please give us thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Subscribe and also click that little bell to be notified of any of our new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Now we can take some before pictures for before and after photos at the end. Doesn't she look so adorable?